it is all done it looks really clean what's going on y'all so today i'm going to be blacking out my chevy bowtie emblem as you guys already know i already had it blacked out uh it was with plastic dip the first time and i'm going to go ahead and redo it again because i love the way it came out it was very sleek came out good easy project doesn't take long at all so i'm going to bring you guys on the process of me doing it and let's see how the video come out so let's get into it All right guys, so the simple supplies that you're gonna need for this project is simple soap, water, and some rubbing alcohol for cleaning the emblem before putting the Plasti Dip on. And of course, your Plasti Dip Black, the Plasti Dip Glossifier, in which I'm probably gonna do three to four coats of both. Also some masking tape and a cutting blade for when you wanna cut around the emblem and cut some of that Plasti Dip off. And I'm also gonna be using some old newspapers for some extra masking. Also guys, it is just Plasti Dip. It is not permanent paint. So if it actually gets on the area that you didn't want it to get on, uh, you can just rub it off or peel it off. The extra masking is really just for taking away the hassle for having to peel off and rub off that overspray. So, but it's not permanent guys. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning the emblem with just soap and water. And then after that, we're going to do it with alcohol. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start masking the area up so I'm gonna leave the chrome out because I kind of want the chrome I kind of want to see how it looks with the chrome being black so I'm gonna leave the chrome out and then if I don't like it I'm just gonna cut around the edges of the chrome and the gold and we'll just keep the chrome and just have the inside black all right guys so I'm done doing the masking around the emblem so I'm gonna go ahead and do the first coat of the plastic dip the black plastic dip and we're gonna do three to four coats I'm probably gonna do four coats Last time I think I did three, but I think I'm gonna do four this time, four coats of the black and then three of the glossifier. And then we're gonna go from there. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my first coat of the black Plasti Dip. Make sure you go ahead and give it a nice good shape first. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do the fourth coat. I was thinking of just doing three because before I did three coats, but this time I'm gonna go ahead and, and see how the fourth coat looks. So we am gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, so after this, we're gonna go ahead and do the glossifier. All right, guys, so this is how it looked after four coats of the black Plasti Dip. Now you can go ahead and do the three instead because that's what I did last time. I did the emblem. I did three coats of the black, three coats of the glossifier. But this time I'm going to do the four coats black and I'm going to do four coats glossifier just to see if I can see a difference between it. But honestly, you can just do three and three and that should work. So I'm going to go ahead and put my first coat of the glossifier on.
All right, guys, so this is the finished product in broad daylight. This is with it all black. I think I like it better when it's only black in the middle with the chrome on the outside. That's just me personally, but this is the finished product. So I'm probably gonna trim it up and just leave the black in the middle. See how it looked then. Cut it out with the blade. All right, guys, so this is how I look with the black and the chrome. It is all done. It looks really clean. So I think I, I think this actually came out better than the first time I did it. Um, so this was with the four coats of black and four coats of the Glossifier. And it looks really nice. That looks really good. So yeah, there you have it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned. A lot more things coming. Um, really special things coming. I hope you guys like it. I have some big things coming, so stay tuned for that. And see you in the next video.